Joining me now is novelist and broadcaster Anne Atkins and in Washington, D.C., the editor-in-chief of Breitbart London, Rahim Kassam. Good evening to you both. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, Anne Atkins. Um, the Osborne Brooks uh, were through a terrifying ordeal, uh, and they were put through that by Henry Vincent and one other. And yet the tributes to him are right outside their door. Do you recognize that that could be incredibly upsetting, if not even offensive, for the family in that house? Yes, um, but... Heaven forbid, Kirsty, that when you and I are bereaved, that we should be judged on how we react in the first few days of our bereavement. It's a terribly difficult time. And it, what, kind of, what kind of person do you have to be to tear down a teddy from children who've lost their daddy, who say, Daddy, I love you to my daddy? I mean, you know, come on. Well, OK, of course their father should not have been burgling house. So of course we all know that. But it's not the children's fault, is it? Now, if the Osborne Brooks had died in, the, in that raid as well, would you take the same view of tributes to uh, um, Henry Vincent outside? I think when, when, you've lost, when you've lost your daddy, you are allowed to leave a teddy and some flowers and some balloons at the place where he died. Rahim Kassam, do, is that your view that actually for a child, uh, 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 you know, losing a father, incredibly traumatic, and actually, if it helps them uh, with the acknowledgement of what has happened to leave uh, flowers outside the house that he burgled, what is the harm in that? Well, I think there is harm. There is harm in several uh, aspects of this. I, I think, you know, when you, when you look at it, you look and you see the word offence that you used in the sort of introduction to this. I don't think we should be judging these things on terms of offence caused or rather offence taken by anyone. You look at the public polling on this, 82% say it should not be allowed to happen. But again, I don't think that is how we should be judging something like this. Uh, your other guest asked the question, what kind of person would tear down flowers, teddy bears, etc., etc., left for uh, the commemoration of, uh, of, of, of a burglar's life who tried to, who did invade and who did infringe upon the rights of someone else. I'll tell you what kind of person I would, uh, a lot of the other uh, uh, people in that who, who were polled at 82 percent would. And I think what it comes down to is a basic concept of morality here. This is not a road traffic accident that occurred. This is not a terrorist attack that occurred. We are not grieving uh, the life of somebody who is an innocent bystander. If the family want to grieve the loss of their loved one, and I can understand that it was a loved one, then they should do so somewhere else, not somewhere where it can be seen to be a taunt or even an intimidation tactic uh, against the would have been victims of this midnight home invasion. And, and indeed, uh, the Osborne brothers have not returned home yet. Now, we don't know whether it's because they're too scared to return home, but they certainly haven't returned home, mm. a home to which they were, you know, they were attached for decades. Oh, sure. And if there is a case of intimidation, that's a totally separate matter, and that should not be allowed. And it's not allowed. It is against the law to intimidate people. And, you know, but, but that, isn't, <clears throat> that isn't part of leaving flowers. You know, leaving, leaving flowers at the place where somebody has died is not an act of intimidation normally. It's not how it's normally interpreted. Interestingly enough, by pure coincidence, my daughter and son and son-in-law lived two or three streets away from where this happened. My daughter encountered a violent burglar, so she's been through this. I've been mugged. I, it's, it's a scary thing to happen, but it is not nearly as traumatic. It's not even the same league as growing up without your father. Now, whatever hang the on, rights and wrongs of this... there was violence this, done to uh, uh, the, yeah, the husband. Yeah. You know, nobody the, the, nobody's the, the, the condoning that. Well, no, actually, hang on. The burglars had a screwdriver. It sure. could very seri seriously course, have... You know, course. the intent was not just to that's, knock on the door and yes, say, could I have a couple of that, quid? That's as may be. But the family has still, the children have still been deprived of their father. They've got to grow up for the next 20 years without their father. That is a terrible thing. Well, for Rahim, goodness sake, a few flowers. But, but, it, well, but, well, but it, if the children feel that that is the place where they want to remember their father, the place where he fell, that is a legitimate desire, is it not? Well, I, do, I, think, I think it's a legitimate desire, but we don't all act on our desires. Uh, we take into account other people's uh, considerations. We live in a community. We don't live uh, in isolation trying to fulfill all of our most basic desires. I might, I, I might be controversial in saying this as well, uh, but the bereavement of a father who may have uh, uh, taught their children criminality is something that we need to assess as well. Perhaps these children would be better off not having a criminal father around teaching them the tools of the trade. And for the police, 
police to try to be enforcing uh, the fact that these people can can uh, uh, lay flowers out there. I I'm think sorry, it is that, a. That I think is it's, a really. I, I think it's, the, poli really I think it's disgusting. the policing of immorality here. I'm I think sorry, it's the enforcement to, of immorality, the enforcement of depravity, uh, and the enforcement of criminality. Well, let's see how this. To say that these children are better off without their father is a. You terrible, don't know. You don't know. Do you know them? Thing thing to say. Thank Do you, you both know them? Much. Thank you both very much, Neil and Faye. We'll have to end it there. That's just about it for tonight. But before we go, on Sunday...